okay now let's just start our discussion now tata radesh so we are wait let's do it so we are completed our routing section right that the yes, we are completed our routing section now right now routing section and introduction and initial function these two these two topics on today we can focus on firewall policy first okay after firewall policy we can go on to the nat topic why because in nat In NAT, we have a concept is called firewall policy NAT. So to discuss firewall policy NAT, we need to know how to work with firewall policies. So in fourteen in firewall box, we can create firewall policies. In in Palo Alto, you can say security policy option. In Cisco ASA firewall box, you can say AC concept. In checkpoint firewall box, you can say Access control policy. In Cisco Firewall Threat Defense, you can say access policy option. So to allow traffic from one network to another network, you can configure firewall policy. See that if you are working with for uh, Palo Alto for for example, Palo Alto Firewall Box, Palo Alto or Checkpoint Firewall Box, or Cisco FT. these are these are what these are zone based part they are working with a concept as for jbo concept so palo alto checkpoint and cisco firewall of fed defense these are working with zone based firewall deck means if you want to allow traffic from one zone to another zone for example from lan to ban you can say from lan to tm Or from band to TMG. If you want to allow traffic from one zone to another zone, you need to configure policy in Palo Alto, in Checkpoint, in Cisco FTD. But but Fortinet, Fortinet is not a zone-based firewall. No, Fortinet is not a zone-based firewall. Here we have an option. Here we have a concept is called if you want to allow traffic from one interface to another interface. one incoming interface to another outgoing interface one incoming interface to another outgoing interface you need to configure firewall policy okay firewall policy. for example see here we have a small deployment right now we have a small deployment a firewall a firewall with firewall with lan portion and wan portion cisco can you hear me can hear you okay please turn off your mic dear if you have any question you can uh we are talking about this topic is called firewall policy cisco okay firewall policy today after firewall policy we can go on to the nat cisco clear my point uh topic is today is called firewall policy yeah after okay. firewall policy we can go on to the nat Okay now, so we have a small topology, guys. A firewall with a uh, LAN portion and WAN portion. So I'm trying to configure basic stuff. I'm trying to configure basic configuration first. So wait. Let me access to console.
Oke. Okay. Um, I think your audio is off. Uh, I'm configuring basic stuff, let's go. I'm Sorry? configuring interface and all right now. Okay. Please wait. Port number one, I'm using as a band port. Port number one, alias, I'm using band. Port number two, we are using as a LAN portion, so LAN port, so alias is LAN. I will just 200, 100, 200, or one slash port. Ping service, click on. And default routing towards ISP. So as per our topology, I'm trying to configure default route. Default route towards ISP. So any network, any mask, gateways 192.168.1, exit interfaces back. That basic configuration. A firewall with LAN port, band port, default route towards ISP. Done. Now, in case, now, in case if you are trying to initiate any traffic, see. I'm Sorry, to... um, just one. Is it is it me online today? Ongi? Yes, everyone is. I, uh, Dutta, Darish, Sonu, Trinal, Aisha. Everyone in batch. Let's go. Oh, there, yeah, there. Yes. Okay. Any questions, Cisco? Yeah, continue. Okay, please, please turn off. Okay. So what we have, I'm trying to initiate my traffic from this LAN PC. LAN PC, see? Here we have LAN computer. And on, onto this machine, I, I have a proper IP address configuration. Proper IP address means what? Like in my LAN side, I have Proper IP address is called IP address, separate mask, gateway, DNS, proper IP address configuration you can see onto this machine. See, let me show you. Let me show you. What I have, I'm, I'm using 200, 200, 225 IP address onto this machine. Gateway is 200, 201. Yes, we are using 201.1 IP address and DNS entry. Maybe in your organization, you are using any different DNS server IP address. I, but I am using here 192.168.1 and 8.1. You can see proper IP address configuration we have onto this inside machine. So now I'm trying to initiate my trap. First, I'm trying to ping my gate 200, 200, 200. I'm trying to, I'm trying to ping through this gate. And I'm getting reply. I'm getting reply. It means to the firewall, to the firewall box. But in case if I'm trying to go through the firewall box, then for example, I'm trying to ping google.com. If I'm trying to ping google.com, so this traffic, this traffic will go and hit onto the firewall box, right? So the actual packet the traffic is going to hit onto the firewall box. Now what firewall will do? Firewall will verify me. Is there, is there any entry available in my routing table for this particular destination? See, in your firewall box, if you verify your routing table, get router info routing table on. So what we have for any unknown destination, you can go on a ISP site. So we have a default route on our firewall. So traffic is going to hit onto the firewall. Now firewall has a default, but traffic is not traveling, why? Right? Because we are working with firewall box. We are working with firewall box. And here in firewall, if you want to allow traffic from one network to another network, you need to configure firewall policy. So if I'm trying to access google.com, if I'm trying to ping, for example, facebook.com, traffic is not traveling. Because we need to configure firewall policy to allow our traffic. See, I'm trying to ping facebook.com. I cannot ping. If I'm trying to access any website, something, for example, 
google.com i'm trying to access facebook.com i'm trying to access i cannot access so let's go, let's go on to the purple box guys let's go on to the purple box so on purple box here we have a tab is called policy and object policy and object you can click on purple policy now if you click on firewall policy, you can see that we have a default rule here. A default firewall policy rule here. You can see we have a rule is called what? Implicit denial. By default, we have a rule. This is what policy ID zero. And rule name is what? Implicit denial. It's a name. Implicit deny is a name. What exactly we have in, in this implicit denial rule? If any source is trying to access any destination or any schedule time for any services, action is what? Action is what? Deny. So if I'm trying to ping, for example, if I'm trying to ping google.com, facebook.com, if I'm trying to initiate my traffic for google.com, it means we are trying to ping, we are trying to hit, we are trying to hit this rule. And whenever you will hit this rule, this information will increase. This information will increase. This byte information will increase. Clear my point? Sonu, Dr. Rajesh, Junal, yes, Aisha, yes, um, Actually, I am a bit confused related to the bytes. Which information you are saying? It's a byte information. If I am trying to generate some traffic, it, might, it means what? It's a data, right? Uh -huh. ISMP data, traffic data, right? So this is the mm -hmm. data information. Okay. Okay, so what we have, if if you are trying to hit this rule, this information will increase. So as per this rule, as per this deny rule, default this this default deny rule, I cannot access see, I cannot access Google.com or Facebook or anything. I cannot ping Google.com. So we are here to allow our traffic, right? We are trying to allow our traffic. So you can click on create. Why? Because I want to create a firewall policy to allow my traffic. You can click on create new. And let's let's create our first firewall policy to allow our traffic. Let's create. So here, what we have, new policy. New policy. You need to give a name for this firewall policy. For example, I'm giving a name. Rule for It's just a name. You can, go, you can give anything. Land to van, rule, van to land, anything. Right now, our task is what? As per our topology, our task is what? I want to allow traffic from land to van right now. Right? Land to van. This is our task. So let's go to the public policy. You can define a name for this rule. Now it's asking for incoming interface and outgoing interface. So as per our task, we are trying to allow traffic from LAN to WAN site. So our incoming interface is what? Port number two. And our outgoing interface is what? Port number one. So here is the option. See, you can, you can define your, as per your task, you can define your incoming interface, you can define your outgoing interface. So my incoming interface is what? LAN port number one. Outgoing interface, WAN port number one. So first you can define your incoming interface and outgoing interface. Then from this incoming interface, you need to specify your source. You are creating this firewall policy for which source IP address or for which source user. So you can click onto this plus sign. You can see this option is called address and user. So 48 firewall box is an object oriented firewall box. Here we can create object, object for configuration. These we can create objects for IP address, and these objects we can use in our configuration. Okay, you can create IP address object, you can create user object. Let's talk about IP address object first. This option is selected, and you can see here we have some default object here. Some default object. For example, here we have a default object as well. What all? If I'm trying to select all, what exactly we have in, in all? Any subnet, any mask. It means any. 
it means from this incoming interface LAN port number two. Source is in. I'm trying to configure my power policy for anyone. It means from this LAN incoming interface LAN port number two. Source is any. So either you can go with the any, or if you want to create your object as per your requirements, you can click on create. You can click on address, and you can create address object. Here we have multiple options. You can create subnet object, IP address range object, fully qualified domain name object, geographical location object, dynamic is not your topic, MAC address object you can create. Let's start our discussion with the subnet object. So I'm giving a name is called LAN hyphen network. LAN hyphen network. Subnet, subnet we have 200. 200.200.24/24. So I, I'm I'm using this subnet and this of this subnet is what this type is what subnet. So I'm creating a subnet object and this is the name LAN hyphen network. You can click on it. You can select this object here in your policy. Now you can see from this incoming interface LAN port number two. I'm configuring my viable policy for source LAN hyphen network. In LAN hyphen network, what we have 200, 200 object. So you can create subnet object. Or you can go with the other option. You can create a range object, for example. Range object. Why range object? For example, here in LAN side, in LAN side, we have multiple computers, for example, 200, 200, 215. 16, 17, 18 IPs. If I want to configure power policy only for only for these four IPs, then only for these four IPs, then you can go with the range object 15 to 18. You can go into your power box, you can give a name, for example, marketing hyphen users. And now range 200 or 200 or 200 or 15, 200 or 200 or 200 or 15. Just an example. You can click on range object, you can click on OK. And this range object you can use in your configuration. See, it means from this incoming to this land port number two, I'm configuring my power policy for marketing users. In marketing users, what we have 50 to 80 IP address. This incoming, we can uh, configure outgoing also, right? In incoming interface. Yes, we can discuss about destination, Rajesh. Okay, okay. Right now, my focus is on source. Okay. Okay. I will, I will show you about destination. So you can, you can create IP address object. So you can go with the submit object. You can go with the range object, or you can go with the fully qualified domain name. For example, you have a domain is called www xyjet.com and I'm giving a name is called FTP hyphen You can click on it. So you can you can create fully qualified domain name object. I know xyjet.com is not available right now, but I'm giving you idea. So this fully qualified domain name right now I'm not using as a source because xyjet.com is not available in my land site. Here I'm only giving you an idea how to create fully qualified domain name object. Or you can click on create, you can click on address, you can go with the geographical location. Geographical location, for example, for example, if I on my firewall box, if I'm getting lots of attack from China, from China, for example, so I want to block it. So I need to verify the IP address information, right? But here in 14th, I will no need to verify what is the IP address. You can just select country information. See? In 14th, they have database. They have all the information about the IP address. So for example, I'm giving a name is called what? Log China. Or you can say log for everyone. So country is called China. You can click on OK. Now it's a 14 power box responsibility. You can verify what is IP address because you are you are using object, country object. Okay. So you can create 
I'm not using this object in my, in my as a source right now because China is not in my land, but I'm giving you an idea how to create geographical location object. You can click on create, you can click on address, you can go with the MAC address option. In this scenario, we can use MAC address object. In this scenario, for example, in my land side, my land side, I'm, I am providing IP address through DSCP, for example. This parallel box is acting as a DSCP server. This, we have a DSCP service onto this port. We are providing IP address on these machines. Every day, every day they are getting different IP address. If I am working with IP, if I am working with IP address object in my power policy, I can face lock. For example, if I want to block this machine, but today he is getting different IP address from DSCP server. Then. I have a firewall policy for 10, but now he is getting 11 today. Then, so we can go with the MAC address object. In this scenario, we can go with the MAC, because MAC address is fixed. You cannot change MAC address. IP address can change, but MAC address is fixed. So, for example, I'm giving a name HR hyphen user for You can define your, your MAC address option, or you can go with the range. Start MAC address and end MAC address range. So you can go with the range option. Clear now, guys? You can go with the subnet, IP address range, fully qualified movie name, geographical location, MAC address option. So these are the object. You can create IP address object. You can attach in your configuration. Right now, right now, I want to create a simple power policy right now. So I'm using all right now, right? But yes, I will show you other information. I can create specific IP address object okay in my parallel policy I will show you later but right now I'm, I'm trying to configure simple parallel policy so I'm using source A right now clear my point Cisco Tata Aisha Rajesh Tronel Sonu yes sir everyone can you hear me yes okay so now what we have you can so okay so you can go with the IP address object now we have another option called what user object. So for example, see, I'm not talking about user right now because for user, we can go with the porting it. We can discuss detail in, in this talk in 48 about user account. But I'm giving you an idea right now. You can create user user object here. For example, I want to configure file policy for user one. For example. So you can create user object here and attach in your file. For example, for example, click on create, click on user, and right now I'm using local user option because I want to configure, I want to create user account in 48 power box, in 48 power local database. So I'm using local user, you can click on next. User is what? User, for example, user is user one. Password will be three, click on next, click on next, Sub Select here. In case, in case, in case, if you are trying to select only user object, only user object. See, we are getting a we are getting a message here. What? One address, address group, external resources, or internet services is required. It means it's required IP address. If you are adding user object in your policy, you need to add minimum one IP. Because this user will log in from a PC and PC need a IP address. So you need, whenever you are trying to add user account information in firewall policy, you need to add IP address information also. So here you can click on address. And for example, I'm using all. Now see, there is no any error. Okay, so right now I'm using source as in. We have another option is called internet services. Internet services right now I'm not using here as a source because internet is not here available here. But yes, internet services I can use in destination. So you can click on this plus sign here. We have two options. Same, you can either you can go with the IP address object or you can go with the internet services. So if you have information about destination, you no know destination IP address, you can create your object. You can create your object here. 
and it will attach as a destination. Or in case, remember our internet services in routing. In 48 power box, we have internet services information. By default, we have 1,531 internet services. So I can attach internet destination. For example, Amazon, Adobe, can just select your destination in your policy. Clear my point? Everyone, Tata, Rade, Sonu, Trunal, Asha, Cisco. Yeah, yeah. Clear now? This, right now, I am using in. This, this user, yeah, user creation is uh, besides the admin panel uh, for uh, monitoring or for uh, configuring this user is creating or for taking uh, his system backup. Can you please repeat your question again? No, the, the user is creating. Uh, okay, admin okay. you are talking about this user account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. This is okay. this. Yes, yes. Please uh, repeat your question. Uh, this user is creation for uh, configuring or for taking backup? No, 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 no. This user is for inside machine. Okay, okay, okay. okay. For to manage this firewall, you okay. can, you can, you can create firewall administrator here. Okay, okay. Right now, right now, we are creating user account here. This user account we are creating for LAN machine. Okay, and for what purpose this user account is? Whenever this inside machine is trying to access any services, you need to authenticate first. Okay, 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 okay. I will show you in, in 48 any topic. No problem. Okay, okay. okay. I'm not going to team. Mm. But remember our, uh, I think day two or day three, in, mm. in video you can check it. Okay. You can check this information. We have uh, we have a topic as well. It's called uh, our back concept. If yeah. you remember. Our back. So okay. this is a firewall administrator. Let's go on to the firewall policy. Wait, Chris. Rule. Incoming interface. Uh, Rajesh, please turn off your mic. So source right now, I'm using any. Destination right now, I'm using any. Any problem? Aisha, any question? Uh, uh, Trunal, any question? Trunal? No, no. Sonu, Ratta? No, no, not for me. No, no, no. no. So now what we have, you can define your destination. Now guys, please turn off your mic. And now see, once you define all the information, so you can go with the schedule option. Schedule option. For example, when you want to use this tool. Okay, Monday to Thursday, morning 10 a.m. to evening, 5 p.m. When you want to use this you can you can define your schedule here. See, by default, always is selected. This option is selected. Always means what? Any day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, any start time, any end time. But if you want to create your own schedule, you can click on create, you can click on one time. And here we have two options. Either you can go with the one time or you can go with the recurring. And one time you can get these options. You can define a name for this schedule. Start date, time, end date, time. Pre-expiration, this event lock. And number of days before you can decide. So you can create your schedule time or you can go with the recurring. In recurring, you can get one more information. Days. Days. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Days information. Start time, stop time. You can define. I'm not using, I'm not using, uh, I'm not creating any schedule. I'm using right now, always. Now you can define your services. So once you define all the parameters, you can attach your services. Here we have services information like journal services, web access services, file access services, email services, or you can go with the network services, network services, remote access, multiple protocols we have. For example, I want to allow HTTP, HTTP service, FTP, get put, NFS, Samba, SMB, TFTP, IMAP, POP3, for example, you can just attach your services. You can define your parameter, you can attach your services. Right now, right now, I'm using all, any services right now, any. So once you define all the parameters, you can take an action. See, here, here, here we have an action. In action, you have two options, accept and deny. Accept and deny. 
So if you want to allow traffic, you can go with the accept option. Okay, so if you go with the accept option, you can utilize the rest of the options now, see? If you if you're going with the accept option, it means you are utilizing these options, rest of the option. But in case if you are going with the deny, it means traffic is not traveling through the firewall box, then you cannot utilize these options. No. So with accept, it means traffic is traveling. If traffic is traveling through the firewall box, so you, so you can utilize these options. So we are here to allow our traffic. So I'm going with the accept. So now if traffic is traveling through the firewall box in case, okay guys, can we take a break for five minutes? Aisha, just go with the Rajesh, so no, no, no. Yeah. everyone. Yes, sir. Please take a break, five minutes. Hello. Sir, voice not coming. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. He took a break. He's coming back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, uh, can you hear me, everyone? Chesko, Tata, Radesh, Trunal, Aisha. Everyone, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, you can continue. Okay, can you hear me, everyone? Sisko, Aisha, Tata, Rajesh, Sunil. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Let's continue our topic. So, if traffic is traveling through the fiber box, traffic is traveling through the fiber box, so in 48, we have inspection mode. If traffic is traveling through the fiber box, then in 48, you can go with the inspection mode. We have two types of inspection mode, is called flow based inspection method. and proxy-based inspection matter. Flow-based and proxy-based. What is the difference between both flow-based and proxy-based? Okay, so we have two type of inspection method if traffic is traveling through the 14 power box. First one is called flow base and second is proxy base. What is the difference between both? See, for example, here we have a power box and as per your fireball, as per your fireball policy, this, this inside machine is traveling through the power box as per your fireball policy. So now in case if you are going with the flow based inspection method, so you can get faster response, but it's less secure. If you are going with the proxy base, it's slower, but more secure. More secure. See, let's talk about flow base first. So if in flow base, if traffic is traveling and if reply packet is coming, reply packet is coming about this traffic, Fireball is not going to stop this traffic. Traffic is traveling and going on to the receiver. So this packet is traveling directly to the receiver, traveling through the power box. So traffic is traveling and this fireball is trying to trying to verify malicious information. Trying to verify and traffic is not going to stop. Traffic is traveling. It's a flow. Traffic is it's called flow base. Traffic is traveling. So there is a higher probability higher probability for false positive or negative, false negative in analysis of data. It means 
If traffic is traveling, then, then Pavel is trying to verify, trying to verify Melissa's information. It's not going to stop by Pavel Proxy. In proxy base, in proxy base, if reply packet is coming, this Pavel is not sending this reply packet to the receiver. No. We stop this traffic here. Traffic here, this reply packet. And within a session, it will wait for entire file or entire packet to be to be received. Then it will scan it here in proxy means. Scan it. If there is any malicious, it will stop it, otherwise send it to the receiver. So in proxy means, it will wait for entire file to be received and scan it. So in proxy means, we have great feature. It's a slower, but more secure. And fewer false positive and negative results result in data analysis. So we have two inspection method is called flow base and proxy base. You cannot say which option is good. No, it's dependent upon your scenario. Maybe for some application, for some traffic, you want faster response. Your focus is on faster response, not on security. So you can go with the flow base. But for some traffic, you want you want to go for the security, then you can go with the proxy base. So but proxy base is what it's a slower, but it's more secure. Clear the difference in between proxy base and flow based inspection method, everyone? Yeah, Everyone's clear, but uh, but how much slower will be? You cannot say how much slower. It's not there's no there's no timing something. Okay. And because one MPPS, it's, suppose internet is there and we're passing through the firewall. It's not much? like that. It's not like that. Uh, too much slower. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not too much slower. But it's uh, okay. Uh, remember TCP and UDP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so TCP is what slower? Yeah, little slower, yeah. How you can define this uh, slower time? How much slower? No, it's a little bit, right? Okay. Same kind of option we have. So here we have right now, right now, I'm going with the flow base right now. Flow base, but we have two options. Either you can go with the flow base inspection method or proxy base. I'm going with the flow base right now. Here in for here in policy, in policy, you can go with the NAT option. I'm not talking about NAT because we have a separate dedicated topic for that. We can discuss. So I'm not talking about which option we are using for transmission. No. Okay. Here we have security profile option. So in 48, 48 is what? It's a next generation Pavel box. So we can create security profiles here. In our training, we can focus on web filtering profile, application control, and antivirus. Remember our day one discussion? We can discuss these three security profiles option. So here you can create security profiles. You can create security profiles and these profiles you can attach in your file policy if traffic is traveling. I'm not creating right now. We'll discuss, we have a dedicated session, but I'm giving you an idea. If traffic is traveling, you can create security profile and you can attach in your file policy. Now, here we have option log allowed traffic. If traffic is traveling through the power box, if you, if you want to see the log message, you can enable this option. If you enable this option, you can get two tabs, security events, or you can go with the all session option. If you select, if you go with the security events option, it means it will show you logs information only related with security profiles. But in case if you want to see all kind of log, you can click on all session. You can you click on all sessions, you can select all session option, click on open. Done. This is your first firewall policy. See, this is your first firewall policy. Traffic is what? Direction is what? Land port number two to van port number one. Here we have a policy ID. This is policy ID. It's not a sequence number. No, it's a policy ID. It's meant, it, it means it's a first policy. So rule is what? Rule name is rule rule one. Source is what? Any source is trying to access any destination on any scheduled time for any services action right now is accept. So this time, if this time, if I'm trying to access any traffic, for example, if I'm trying to ping this time facebook.com, facebook.com, I'm getting reply. If I'm trying to ping google.com, I'm getting reply. If I'm trying to access google.com again, let's refresh this page, google.com. 
So we can access, it's working slow, but we can access see google.com now. We can access, wait, it's working slow. We can access uh, facebook.com. See, traffic is traveling through the Bible box. As for your Bible policy, traffic is traveling. Now in case, if in case if you want to see the log message, if you want to see the log message, so you can just see this information, like right information. So data traffic. Now, in case if you want to see the log message only related with this rule one, you can right click onto this policy, then go on to the show matching log. You click on show matching log, it will redirect onto the login report in forward traffic here. Yeah. For login report, we have a dedicated topic, dedicated session, login and monitoring. But right now, let's talk about this log. So you can right click on your policy. You can right click on your policy. You can click on show matching log. It will redirect, see. In, in power traffic, you can verify date and time, source IP address, this 200, 200, 200, 125 is trying to access, trying to go onto the trying to go through the power box. You can verify onto this machine. Yes, we have, I think, 125, eight. yes, 125, 125, destination information, result information, policy ID, yes, rule one, policy ID is one, source code number, destination code number. So these are the default tab, default tab. In case you want to add more information, more, more column here, so you can add. I'm not talking about these options right now, okay? Because I told you, we have a dedicated session on login and monitoring. So this is our first power policy. Let's go on to the power policy again. This is our first power policy. Clear now, everyone? Cisco, okay. any problem? Rajesh, any question? Datta, Aisha? For, uh, for different LAN, uh, there is uh, some, in some, you know, firewall, some there is four, four LAN, uh, LAN port, five, eight LAN port, is it possible to have every LAN has port has different policy? You, uh, you want to add multiple interfaces? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, uh, in yes, you can. Right now, see, right now you cannot. Okay. Right now you cannot. You can you can select only one interface. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Only one interface right now. But but you can go into the system. You can click on click on feature visibility. Yeah. And here you can enable the service hmm. multiple interface policy. This option. Okay. You can click on apply, you can go on to the power policy. Hmm. You can go on to the power policy, click on power policy, click on create and see. Every port will be a different, different interface though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, clear. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So this is our first power policy, guys. Let's continue this topic tomorrow, everyone. Okay. Aisha, Sasko, Datta, Rajesh, Sonu. It's not finished. We can discuss this Pavel policy again, but tomorrow, okay? Okay. Everyone, we are on Pavel policy. Tomorrow, same time, 8.15, no. ISD time. Sir. Yes, yes, Tata. Uh, sir, uh, I have set up lab in my yeah. office PC. Come here. Uh, can, how can I add templates of uh, the get firewall list? Okay, I can help you tomorrow, okay, Tata? No problem. Okay. I can help you tomorrow I, after class. I, okay? I, I think uh, uh, yes. in, uh, you shared the sorry. more or less. I think you shared okay. the details on your, your drive. Mm -hmm. The templates are not available. Image, you are talking about image. Yeah, images. Coordinate powerful images. Okay, I'm sharing no problem. In, in drive, same drive I'm sharing. Okay, Here I will add it. Okay, no problem. I'm sharing. No problem. Okay, thank you. In, in, your, in your drive, I'm sharing 48 firewall image. Yes. Okay. Bye, everyone. Good night, guys. Bye, sir. Good night. Bye.